Hey, what's going on guys? Zephyr here and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create custom items uh, for your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds. Now in today's video I'm going to be using this program called Bridge, right here, Bridge, uh, to be able to create some items. Now I go back and forth between the actual files and uh, Bridge to do this sometimes because certain things are easier to do in the actual coding than to just come back in here and Bridge and do it. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to use or create items using Bridge. Um, if you guys want to get the download for this, if you don't already have it, that will be in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, download it. And if you guys didn't know, I'm doing this on Windows 10 uh, PC. So just, uh, just so you guys know, I think you might be able to do this like on Android mobile. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it. So what you're going to want to do is when you log in here or load it up, you're not going to see these extra things. These are just like whenever I load up a uh, bridge, this is just like the first pack that comes up. So uh, you might not have anything here, but what you're going to want to go ahead and do is click new project and give it a name. So now let's do, let's just go ahead and give it a name real quick. Zephyr Tutorial. How about that? We'll just give it a name tutorial and then we'll just do the same thing here for this one. I keep on typing that wrong. Whoops. Zephyr tutorial. And then you can give it a description if you want. Um, might as well just give it a, I don't know, tutorial on how to create custom items, period. Now you're going to want to go ahead and give yourself a Minecraft version. We're just going to go with 1.16. Um, let's do 1.16.200. Now do not click this. This is, um, this will basically just, this is for other things that you can use bridge for. Um, but uh, if you use this and you're on Windows and then your Windows computer and you try to add this add on to your world, it will add, but only people on Windows PCs will be able to join. It won't allow... Uh, like Xbox or PlayStation or anyone else like that to be able to join so just don't check this and then we'll just go ahead and click create so now we got our files over here I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the functions folder we don't need that and delete the bridge folder don't need that and then what we're gonna go ahead and do real quick is just create a resource pack that's linked to it so we're just gonna go ahead and click this here create and then we'll just do Zephyr tutorial and then resource pack and then we'll just copy that and then paste it right here and go ahead and click create now we're not going to need some of these so go ahead and delete your blocks dot json uh, biomes dot client we can delete that delete your sounds don't need that delete this sounds folder don't need that i'm getting some errors down here don't worry about those just click through those real quick don't need that and then let's uh, go back to the behavior pack and what you're going to want to do is come up here to the top and click on this one that says new file and then you can go ahead and give your item a name but let's wait until we find this on the side here this sword icon it's an item so go ahead and now we're going to give our item a name so let's just do zephyr underscore tutorial touch or real there we go and now we're just going to go ahead and do a blank item template and then load this up click this little light bulb to auto fix the version and then we just got a blank item thing here so we're going to go ahead and click on identifier we're going to add something to it so we're going to just use we're just going to do zephyr colon tutorial so you're definitely so how this works is you're definitely going to need um so you're going to need something, some kind of word. It doesn't have to actually be a word. It just could be letters or numbers. And then you're going to need a colon and then another word after it. Because without without this word in front and the colon, it doesn't work. It's kind of like if you've ever seen uh, Minecraft. And then we'll just do Apple. Like this is how like for the Apple in the game is actually identified as Minecraft colon Apple. So this is how you identify your items. So you're going to need to do something in the front. doesn't matter what it is. 
name it whatever you want to name your item after. So we'll just do Zephyr colon tutorial and we'll just leave that there. So now we're just going to want to hop onto components. You can, when you click components, this area should highlight blue. Right, let me click on something else. There, now it highlights blue again. And I could click on it and look at the different things that I can use. So we're just going to go ahead and do max stack size. And then we can add however many we want this to stack up to. So we'll just do 50 just for an example. And then hit the plus button. And then come back to components. And then, you know what, we'll do foil. Because this is what adds like a shiny value to your item when you're holding your item. Like an enchanted piece of armor or tools or like another star. If you've ever noticed how they have that glistening effect to the item, that's what this foil is doing. That That's what Minecraft foil is. And so we can do a lot of other things if you want to make a, um, if you want to have it be like a weapon or like a tool or um, like a food. There's a bunch of other things in here you can click on, but we're just going to leave it to just having it being a normal item. And then, yeah, so let's just go ahead and file save all just to make sure that it saves everything. And I'm going to minimize this real quick, pull up my folder real quick. And this is where all of your Minecraft files are for the game. Now how you get here is go ahead and press Windows R and then you're going to type in this right here. Percent local app data percent and press OK. Now when this loads up, you're just going to scroll down to the P's, go to packages, scroll all the way down to Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. Click on that, go to local state, games, com.mojang. And here's your folder and I just pinned it on the side right there just so that it's right there where I can get to it nice and easily and when you are using a bridge which is this icon down here at the bottom it'll create these new folders called development underscore behavior packs and then development resource packs and development skin packs now this is where you're actually developing your files so where is it um, Zephyr's tutorial there we go that's the one that we're working on right now and then also in the resource pack, it's down here, tutorial and resource pack. So that's what we're going to be using. But uh, let's go ahead and when you are actually in bridge, let me show you real quick. When you're in the resource pack section, you can't actually add an item through here for whatever reason for the resource. So what you have to do is you actually have to go back to your folder. And for me, it's easier just to have a another um, another add-on that I can go to and grab something from it so like let's go to my create key uh, resource pack we're just gonna go into the items folder go ahead just copy one of these control C for this rare JSON file and now we're gonna go back to com.mojang development resource packs jump into the Zephyr tutorial resource pack not rename it jump into it now we're, what we're going to do is new folder, name it items, items, hit enter, open that folder, and go ahead and paste that item in there. Now let's open up this file, and this is what it looks like, and actually I should, hopefully, maybe if I refresh, yep, so now it's actually in here. So if I go to items, and I go to rare.json, here is the item itself so um, there are a couple of things in here to keep in mind like here's the identifier this is where I was doing the uh, name of the item so we'll do Zephyr colon tutorial tutorial there we go hit the plus item and then the category is just where the item will show up in the creative menu when you are in creative mode and you open up your inventory to grab different items this is just where it's going to show up and then components, there's a bunch of other things you can do on here. Uh, I guess a couple different things you can do on here. Uh, your main thing that you're going to want to have is this Minecraft colon icon. And then what we will do with this is, let me just file save all real quick. It was this Minecraft colon icon. You're going to want to go to your textures. And then there's a bunch of different folders in here. But the one you're going to want to use is this item texture. Now, um, let's just go ahead and go to a different resource pack real quick, just to show you what it looks like. So we'll go back to my create keys resource pack, go to textures, and here's your item.texture file. Now this is how you're going to specify um, going from, if I go back to this, how you're going to go from your Minecraft icon to 
the um, to the actual texture of the item. So like in the one before, if I actually jump back to that real quick, you see how the Minecraft icon is name is rare right here. What we're gonna go ahead and do with that is just looking in this example, you can see that the name of the item is rare, and then in the textures is gonna be in the textures folder uh, slash rare. So let's just go ahead and we'll just copy this one real quick. Let's control C that. Go back to um, Com.mojang, development resource packs, back to this one, textures, item texture, and then go ahead, enter, tab, enter, tab, and then, ooh, that is not right. Oh no, that can stay there. We'll delete that so that it'll be like this. And now what we're going to do is actually going back into the, um, the resource pack, we are going to jump in, back into this items here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this Minecraft icon from, if it'll let me, change this from rare. We're just going to name this tutorial. And then file, save that real quick. Now what we're going to do is jump back into this item texture. And then we're going to do the same name there, tutorial. And then for the textures location, we're just going to name this X and then tut. So for Zephyr tutorial, and then control save that. All right, and I'll tell you what that uh, what that file location was once we get to that. But what we're going to want to do now is actually let's just jump here. We don't need this texture list or this terrain texture or this flipbook texture. Go ahead and delete those. Make sure to leave your item underscore texture. Now what we're going to want to do is if I go to um, let's go to downloads. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Vanilla resource pack. You can download this from the Minecraft.net website to, for add-ons. We're just going to go into textures, go to items, and let's just grab any old item. Like let's say, let's grab this cookie. Let's let's use this as our texture pack. Let's go back to our development resource packs into this folder. Go into textures and paste this here. Now what you're going to want to name this. So when we look back in this folder, what this is doing, if you look back here, it's going for the Minecraft icon tutorial. So what that is, is it's jumping to this item texture.json file, and it's looking for this one name tutorial, and then it's going to go to the location that's specified right here. So the textures is the actual textures folder that we have right here. It's going to go inside that, and then it's going to grab the picture that's named XTUT. So we're just going to go ahead and name this XTUT. And then there's that. Make sure to uh, save these files whenever you're done with them. Delete that. And then we're going to jump into text real quick. Go into ENUS. Um, and what you want to do is you're going to want to jump down a new line. And this is where you're going to actually name the item for when the player has it in game. So we're going to go ahead and type item oop, item dot and then the identifier of the item which is zephyr colon tutorial dot name equals and then whatever you want to name it so we're going to name it tutorial cookie go ahead and save that and then what you're going to want to do is you can check your manifest folder this is where your u your uuid is if you ever just want to make a new UUID without having to worry about um, jumping into bridge to get a new one. This is where you're going to do it. Um, once I load up my web browser real quick, we're just going to jump into Google. Go to Google, google.com. Jump into here, and then you're just going to want to search up UUID generator. Hit enter. Should be this first link, online UUID generator. And you're going to want to use version 1. Do not use version 4. Use version 1. And then you can generate how many you want. So just, you could do 2. Generate. And this is how you identify your pack, is you just use your, the UUID, and you paste it into this location here, and then you paste a different one into this location here. Um, and then... Yeah, so let's just go ahead and let me bring this development resource pack. Now this should be working. 
me save that, go back to my behavior packs, paste this in there, go back to development resource packs, get the other one, control, save that, go into the resource packs folder, paste that in there, and then let's go ahead and uh, load up some Minecraft. All right, now that we are loaded into Minecraft, we're gonna go ahead and just click play, create new world for this demonstration. And then once it loads up, we're just gonna name it tutorial. It doesn't matter what you name the world. I'm just gonna put it into creative, peaceful for now, flat. One thing you wanna make sure you do is you wanna activate these three for sure. Don't worry about this one or education edition. You don't need to worry about that. And then let's just go ahead to behavior packs. Load this up, you see Zephyr Tutorial, go ahead and activate that. And then if it's done correctly, your resource pack will automatically be activated when you activate your behavior pack. And then if you want to check it, you can go ahead and see there's a green check mark there when I load it up. And I can refresh it, and it says there are no errors found. And then we can just do the same if we wanted with the behavior pack, which there were no errors found. And now we can go ahead and just create the game. Now while we're waiting for this to load up, we're just going to uh, get into the world and then once we're in there, we're just going to make sure that we have the item and then we'll just move from there. Alright, we are building terrain and here we are. So let's go ahead and just do slash give and then we're going to type in Zephyr Tutorial. And there is your custom item. Um, there is a decent number of steps to it. Um, but once you guys figure or get the hang of it, it should be pretty easy. If you guys remember the Minecraft foil thing that we were doing before, that's what this, the little shiny effect to it is. That's what that's doing. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now something to keep in mind when you guys are making your actual behavior pack or your custom items in your behavior pack. Um, if I go ahead and find this real quick, you go into the manifest. This is where you can update like the version right here is version 1.0.0. Don't worry about the minimum engine version and there's 1.0.0. Now a couple things you want to keep in mind is if you update your uh, your resource pack or your behavior pack and you go to reapply it to your world, if you don't change the version, then it's not going to apply the changes. So what you need to do is come back into this manifest, change your version here. Like I could just change it from 0 to 1 or to a thousand really doesn't really matter um, we're just gonna leave it at zero but another thing to keep in mind is this or for this header section here um, we're gonna or I guess for the behavior pack if you want to change your version you change the version that's in this header section and you also change the version that's in this module section now if you change anything in the resource pack you're gonna want to change update the version in the dependencies and um, so the dependencies also links to your uh, resource pack manifest. So if I go here, manifest. So like here, if you look at this UUID on the resource pack manifest, you can start see it starts with an EA or ECA 2D. That's this one right here. So these two are the exact same. This is how they link up is through the dependency on here relates to the resource pack. So your versions in your resource pack here have to be the same. So like if this is 1.0.1, then this one also has to be 1.0.1. And then in your behavior pack, this one also has to be 1.0.1. But for the behavior pack itself, this could be 1.0.2 and this one could be 1.0.2. But these, this version has to be the same version as this one. And then for the dependencies, this version has to be the same as the version in your resource pack. And then you could just save it, load back into Minecraft, and then just go into your behavior packs and just load up the most recent version. Which, if you remember, once you loaded in the version or the behavior pack before you join the world, you, if you click on that green check mark, it'll tell you the version to make sure that you are using the correct one. I'm not going to save that. Don't need to save that. But uh, yeah, so one more thing I just want to show you, just in case you guys get a lot, a little lost. If you want to create more than one item, this is how you create a second one for your item texture. You're just going to want to go ahead and copy this. Control C, put a comma after that. And then, actually, you know what? Let's copy up to here. Control C and Control V. 
and then you put whatever your Minecraft icon name for inside the resource item is here, and then texture slash and the name of your uh, picture right there. It's pretty simple. Once you guys get a little figured it out, then it should be a lot easier for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end off today's video. Um, thank you guys for joining me today. I uh, hope this video is helpful or beneficial to you guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Drop me any comments if you have any questions. Uh, I do respond faster in Discord, so make sure to check the description to join the Discord channel. If you have any uh, questions, you can leave them there too. But uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This has been Zephyr, and peace out.